Hi Cloud Disco, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a fashion video. I've done kind of these videos before. It's just me explaining the making of of something that I did in university. This time I made a trench coat. It's custom made. I made the pattern and everything. I'm just gonna walk you through all the steps and I'm gonna show you footage and stuff in the try on so you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna insert a picture right here of what it looks like so you guys can follow the process with me and understand a little bit more everything if you guys don't know i am a fashion design student and i really enjoy creating and imagining things from scratch and this was a project from a class called manual printing methods i want to say that every student had to do what they really wanted and i really wanted to do a trench coat so that's why I decided to do trench coat pattern and transform it and do like the sleeves however I want it and everything, just customize the pattern. And then I chose the fabric and I cut the fabric with the pattern. The fabric is a cotton fabric so I can dye it like easily and I don't have to do like any kind of weird process because it's like handmade dye. So it's very hard to dye polyester fabric if you don't do like a specific step so I chose cotton okay so I cut it and it has like a very you guys can see it's not like a white white color it's like a cream white color that was something that I knew that it would affect the color that I chose to dye that. So after we did the pattern making, I went to university and we used a technique to draw a pattern into the fabric. So when we dyed the fabric with the fabric paint, the parts that you apply wax on won't die. I'm gonna insert the definition on the screen so you guys can read it and you guys can learn about this technique. You can do this at home but it's kind of expensive to do because you need like a bunch of materials and stuff and a bunch of space and a bunch of thingies but you can watch videos of it. It's very fun to do and it's very entertaining. I spent like a bunch of time in class doing like these kind of drawings on the fabric. So yeah and then what we did was we dyed the fabric. I had like a bunch of pieces from the same fabric. Those pieces I decided to dye them with grey fabric paint. So you can find these. I bought mine on Amazon. I will pop a picture on the screen of what the back looks like and if you want I will link it down below so if you want to try this at home you can totally try. As the pieces of fabric were so big I got help from my boyfriend and my mom. We decided to dye this like to do this DIY in the bath. So thank god I have a bath. We decided to use that and we filled it with water. We did like a preparation because the paint needs some preparation before it's like some kind of dust and then you have to mix it with water and salt like a certain amount of everything and then we pour it in the bath and then we put like the fabric into the bath and we waited this took like a very long time maybe like six hours or something like that I think we left it overnight because the color was not strong enough for my taste but of course you can like let it the time you want you just have to check in the fabric to see if the color is what you expect or not we interrupt this program to bring you a special report okay guys so this is what we're dealing with we have all these newspapers on the floor because our bathroom is so small we have these this is a sample and that's a sample as well and these are the final fabric that's gonna be part of the trench coat that we're gonna make. So this is all we have and it goes on here and here. We have a lot of things and then we have to clean the bathtub because yeah. It's gonna be hard to go to the bathroom tonight because it's full of things. Once the fabric dries, the color is gonna be slightly different. Normally slightly lighter but I don't know, depending on the color and depending on the fabric, of course. Once the fabric was pastel, silver gray, kind of, I decided to let it dry. And then we had the fabric with the wax doing the draw that I wanted, like doing the design that I wanted on it. And then we had to take out the wax. Okay, so after we have all of these, we have to take the wax off. So for that, we used the iron and some paper underneath and like a sandwich, like we made a sandwich of the whole thingy. So we put paper and then fabric and then paper and then with the iron we just ironed it like little by little to take the wax off and you just have to check if it's 
done then you can throw everything in the washing machine and you should be good after that we sew it all together then we created like a lining for the whole trench coat it has its own lining and then it has as well my brand stack and it has a belt and it has buttons on it so we just decided to give it this kind of detailing because I think it's very cute and I think it's very unique to have like a custom made trench coat so right now I'm gonna show you guys the try on so you can see how it looks on it's very cute it's oversized for me but that's what I like I wear it like that and I have to say I wore it to university once and I want to wear it again today it's raining so it's definitely not a good day because it's a very thin fabric and it's winter but maybe in the spring or autumn it would be a very cute piece to wear and unique so yeah and I forgot to tell you guys this is part of my brand cloud by cloud check out this video or this video right here I don't know where it will appear but if you want to shop my brand you should go check my instagram's brand is gonna appear on the screen where you can find these unique trench coats and you can find other unique pieces and you can ask me to do like custom made pieces for you i would be so glad to so if you really want to do that don't hesitate to talk to me that's it i really hope you enjoyed these kind of how to make things videos or how I made things videos and I can't wait for the future because I think next video is gonna be so exciting and I hope you guys loved my Disney series I really miss it and I really want to go back and I think the vlogs are really really cool if you haven't seen them go check them out also you can see pictures on my Instagram so my social media is gonna be on the screen and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and yeah turn on the bell blah 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 <laughs> so I hope you have a beautiful day guys Two, bye three. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.